The latest version of Stringer is now available, bringing a range of improvements and enhancements to the software. A latest update includes the addition of a convenient tool space. With the tool space, you can quickly access a list of all points, surfaces, alignments and strings that you've created. Simply right click on any object in the list to bring up a context menu of commands. Additionally, when you hover over an object in the tool space, it will be highlighted in the CAD interface, making it easy to locate and edit. By right clicking on the file name at the top of the tool space, you can access commands such as code sets, point styles and string settings. A new command in version 24 is string defaults, which allows you to set your default styles for alpha and numeric data sets. The tool space also lists point groups, each containing a list of points and survey strings. You can access the point group manager command, create and delete strings, and access the survey string manager by right clicking on the point group heading. Additionally, hovering over an object such as a point or string will highlight the object in the CAD interface. And a context menu will appear when you right click on a point object. The context menu allows you to access many of Stringer's string editing commands, such as adding arcs, closing strings, or reordering out of order strings. The CSA surfaces section lists any surface object created. By right clicking on a surface object, you can toggle the display of contours and triangles, add water drops, and access the surface manager. If you have multiple surfaces in the project, you can create pasted surfaces and also compute volumes between surfaces. Stringer for BricsCAD and AutoCAD now comes with the ability to create alignments and profile strings. Alignments can be used to output comparison reports, point set out, and are required to create a profile string. Profile strings can be used to output long sections and cross sections to represent sectional information for your survey surface. The new tool space in Civil 3D is similar to the tool space in BricsCAD and AutoCAD platforms, but alignments and strings are not included because users are expected to leverage the Civil 3D alignment profile objects. One of the most important commands in Stringer for Civil 3D is the Civil 3D point group link command. This command is used to link a Civil 3D point group to Stringer so that strings can be created by referencing this point group. At the bottom of the tool space, a row of commonly used Stringer commands is displayed. Connect allows users to import raw survey data and reduce points. The ability to import point files directly through the Connect interface has been added in the latest update to Stringer, along with filter controls that allow users to include or exclude points based on features such as elevation, point number and location. The Create Survey Strings button allows users to create survey strings or display the Survey String Manager if survey strings have already been created. The performance of this interface has been improved in the new version of Stringer. The multi-symbol tool is useful for adding extra blocks to points and the group table output command can be used to output legend tables that list all codes used to create strings along with their line style. The transform point command allows users to perform a helmet transformation on points in a point group. Finally, the model viewer command allows users to visualize their survey in a rendered 3D environment. New to Model Viewer is the ability to apply an elevation analysis on a surveyed surface. To do this, go to Toggle Display and go to the Analysis tab. Once you've set up the analysis, set your surface style to Surface Analysis to see the analysis displayed in the current scene. Last year, we embarked on the task of redeveloping Stringer to create a new framework that would allow us to easily build future commands and enhance the performance of the software. With the release of Stringer v24, we have continued to refine and optimize the code for better performance. For instance, with a survey consisting of 20,000 Kogo points, Stringer version 24 can now generate the survey strings and add the brake lines to the surface in just a few seconds. 
We've also optimized the Survey String Manager to handle larger data sets, ensuring that Kogo Point labels appear only at the appropriate zoom levels for a cleaner display. The addition of the Settings button enables you to modify the zoom control and other performance settings. Thank you for watching our Stringer version 24 feature overview video. We're excited to announce that we will be hosting webinars soon to showcase the new version in greater detail. If you have any questions about Stringer version 24, please do not hesitate to contact us.